Today we're going to assemble a lithium atom model. First thing we need to do is look at materials. We need three colored ping pong balls to represent the protons, four colored ping pong balls to represent neutrons, another three different colored ping pong balls to represent our electrons. I'll also need some 12 gauge wire, one of them that'll be about 101.3 centimeters, the other one that'll be about 129.9 centimeters. I will need a two millimeter standard screwdriver, one tape measure, one wire cutter, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Now, as always, before you begin, get your parents' permission first. Okay, so I've got my reel of wire, and I pull out my wire, take out however much I need, and what I do is I use my wire cutters for cutting these things, okay? doesn't take too much energy. There we go. Got that cut off. So now I'm going to, for the sake of time, I'm going to turn this off and show you what it's going to look like when I string a whole bunch of my neutral neutrons and my positive protons on the wire. Okay, using the shorter of the two pieces of wire, I'm going to be working with the three ping pong balls that will represent my protons. And then I'm going to be using the four ping pong balls that will represent my neutrons. Okay, taking one of the ping pong balls, we're going to thread it. And this is the tricky part. You gotta find the holes on the other side. I'm going to thread it through the other side. And then for the sake of time here, I'm going to stop the camera and you're going to see what it looks like when I have a bunch of them threaded on. Okay, so we're going to finish threading the last of the balls on. So I have this nice looping wire of the positive protons and neutral neutrons. And I'm going to bring these guys around so that I have a nice little loop. Keep them down a little bit farther, a little bit farther, until I can loop this around. Okay. And then I'm going to S-curve and twist these guys, form the metal, so it makes a nucleus. Okay. Then I'm going to take my wire. I already have one pre-strung for the sake of time. Got one electron already on there. Then I'm going to take my second electron and I'm going to thread that on. And what I did, because you could use glue, but I like the the model pieces to be able to spin. I just made a little loop in my wire, and I made that loop by putting the wire around and wrapping it around my screwdriver. And then I pulled it out and had a little curly cue. Okay. So here I have my nucleus with my protons and neutrons. My first two electrons here. But because it's lithium, it has how many electrons? That's right, three. So I have to get my second shell and the last electron that goes on it. Okay. And I just finished making the second, my L shell. So here's my third electron. So I've got one, two, three electrons. I had my three pink protons and my four white neutrons. So here's my nucleus with my electrons. And I've got my two different shells here and I left enough wire at the top. So now I have something for hanging this from the classroom ceiling. Cool. Okay, and really, it didn't take me too much time. Sometimes the wire can be tricky, but I know you guys can do this stuff. All right, don't forget, bring it in on time.